Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, oh. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder, guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Now, what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Back at you with the Avatar, The Last Airbender, Book Two, Episode Seven, Zuko Alone. Zuko alone, and I don't like the sound of that because I don't want Zuko to be alone, but that's where we're at right now. He's kind of have to do some soul searching. So hopefully this is like an episode, hopefully it's an episode dedicated to him because we didn't see him last episode. So I want to see a lot more Zuko storytelling and maybe he has some kind of like, you know, like I said, some kind of coming of age moment where he like realizes what his true calling is and, and goes back to Iroh because I don't like him when they're apart. I mean, either. like I do. I'm actually looking forward to this episode. Uh, it's kind of like mixed emotions, like you said. I don't want him to be alone either. But I'm looking forward because it's a Zuko episode. One person I rep, even though I'm on the, the Glacier side, I rep Zuko and I rep Iroh too. I'm kind of interested to see if Zuko maybe he goes back and sees like Song. Yeah, maybe he'll like, actually apologize for taking her shit and you know once he has that like they have a lot in common. Yeah, I think once he has that, maybe he has to have like self reflection because sometimes you have to be on your own and not have other voices in your head and. Maybe he can find out, like, like you said, maybe find his honor again. And then when he finds that, he'll be like, fuck, let me bring her back. Because remember, I already gave him the whatever that fucking thing is. <laughs> well, yeah, I just want to see if he can just kind of get back on the right track. Because he's kind of in this rut right now, and I don't like seeing him like that. But with that being said, I'm ready to fuck, Glacier. You ready? I'm ready. All right, guys, and just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. And we're going to keep the trend going where you can catch the next two episodes on our Patreon. With that being said, let's fucking go. Olay, boy, Zuko. Damn. And he's got the mean mug on him right now, saying, fucking around. Reminds me of that one show, Kung Fu, where he's like riding in the desert. That's not terrifying. God, oh, knew it. You get your fucking squawky ass off this bridge. Damn, Damn he's probably real hungry. Oh, come oh man, she's pregnant. Oh no. Don't mess with them. Maybe they'll just give you food. Oh, damn. Maybe they'll share it with you. Damn, he thought about it. Good, good, good yeah, for you. kept going. Nah, I can't cross certain lines. But he didn't take any of his food. Nothing, he left all that with Ira. Probably didn't think That's that crazy, through. he took all that stuff for Ira. He didn't even eat yeah, all Yeah, he just left it with him. Oh, oh no. Shit. Yeah. You need to sleep or and eat and, and water. Most importantly, water. Who's that? The shit, is that his mom? Have you met his mom? Yeah, I mean, haven't. He hasn't even mentioned her in any of the seasons. All. Don't mess with him, man. Could I get some water, a bag of feed, and something hot to eat? Not enough here for a hot meal. Uh, I can get you two bags of feed. And you and your bird are gonna have to eat the same food. <laughs> uh, shit. I think, I think Zuko did it. God! You throwing eggs at us, stranger. Wait, have we seen this guy before? No. Let me see someone with a hammer. See who did throw it. No. Damn, no snitch either. Yeah, Zuko's like, thanks for your contribution. Oh, y'all <gasps> fucked up now. Oh, wow. You better leave town. Thanks for not ratting me out. Oh, at least he came back. I'll take you to my house and feed your ostrich horse for you. Come on, I owe you. Oh, there yeah. you go. Met a new friend. Zuko's like, I'm saying, hey, feed me too. He's probably not conditioned to fight, like a whole oh, squad. Yeah. He's like, damn, I would fire bend your yeah. ass right now, but I can't. Regain your strength. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sheep pig. No one can ever sneak up on us. <laughs> oh my god, these fucking hybrid animals. Those men should be ashamed to wear Earth Kingdom uniforms. Damn. The real soldiers are all fighting the war. Like Lee's big brother, Sen Su. Who should this be? Supper's going to be ready yeah. soon. Sen Su. Would you like to stay? Come on. Just accept their generosity. Where are you going? Lee, stop asking the man personal questions. Got it? I mean, he's probably lonely because he doesn't have his big brother with him. Exactly. Just like his big brother here. Yes. Oh, shit. I know that hurt. A man's past is his business. Damn, he's gonna think about his past more. It's gotta be his mom. Yep. Yep. Zula feeds turtle ducks. Oh. God. Don't ever do that again. God. <laughs> ever do that, my son. Instant karma. Next time I'll kill you. Well, see, Azula actually, she's showing how Azula hits the, the, the turtles. Like, she probably abuses animals. Yep. I could be wrong. Let's see. It's kind of cool, though, to see, like, a little backstory of them. <laughs> Azula? Yeah. Is this May and Tylee? Yep. The little girls? Oh, she's oh, yeah. Yep. Try to knock the apple off the other person's head, like this. Yeah. Oh, maybe she set him up. Maybe she... See, I told you it would work. I'm playing matchmaker. It's not so bad. Uncle Iroh sent us a letter from the war front. Oh, is that Ba Sing Se? Ba Sing Se yep. must be something to behold. I hope you all may see it someday. If we don't burn it to the ground first. Ah. Damn. Back when he was fighting. For Zuko. 
A pearl dagger from the general who surrendered when we broke through the outer wall. Never give up without a fight. Have we seen a dagger before? I don't know. Never give up without a fight. <laughs> if Uncle doesn't make it back from war, then Dad would be next in line to be Fire Lord, wouldn't he? Shame, Missoula. I still think our dad would make a much better Fire Lord than his royal tea-loving kookiness. Uh, oh, wow, burn a gift? Bitch, sure, damn, she bitch she was little. Damn, that, that, during that time, Ozai wasn't Lord yet. So I wonder how Zoo was going to react. You're holding them all wrong. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah, teach him how to take it personally. These are dual swords. Two halves of a single weapon. Yeah. Don't think of them as separate, because they're not. I'm glad he's got like a mentor now, or someone he can mentor. That's cool. I like to go for I think you'd really like my brother Shen Tzu. He used to show me stuff like this all the time. Damn. I have a feeling that's going to play like maybe Shen Tzu dies by Fire Nation. Probably, yeah. That'd be dark. That'd be crazy. Just thought someone ought to tell you your son's battalion got captured. Oh, shit. <gasps> you boys hear what the Fire Nation did with their last group of Earth Kingdom prisoners? You watch your mouth. Ooh. You said fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your ass back. This is bad news. Oh damn. Shit. Iro has lost his son. <gasps> your cousin, Luten, did not survive oh, the battle. Shit. Death. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he lost his son. What's gonna happen to my brother? I love the parallels between yeah. the Zuko's life and this family. Here. I want you to have this. Oh the dagger. The inscription. Never give up without a fight. Damn, it takes off. See ya. Damn. By the way, Uncle's coming home. Does that mean you won the war? No. It means Uncle's a quitter and a loser. Oh, I don't talk about Ira that way. Found out his son died and he just fell apart. A real general would stay and burn Ba Sing Se to the ground. Wow. Okay, so you've been a bitch since the little girl. Your father has requested an audience with Fire Lord Azulon. Can't you just call him grandfather? Oh, shit. Someone will probably end up taking his place soon. Yeah, it's Ozai's father. Lady. Damn. Not another word. Yeah, put her in check. What is wrong with that child? She's fucking evil. <laughs> Chemical imbalance is what's wrong. Mm. So yeah, you're my favorite. Nasty over the dope. That's the thing. Skilled, with even that age. Damn. She's a true prodigy. Just like her grandfather for whom she's named. Damn. Oh yeah, that does make sense. Demonstrate what I've been learning. Oh no. God, I frown. You never supported your son. What? Oh no. Look, they're about to fall asleep. Never give up without a fight. Oh. Damn. It's okay, Zuko. You got more heart. I failed. That's who you are, Zuko. Someone who keeps fighting even though it's hard. Exactly. You must have realized, as I have, that with Lu Ten gone, Iroh's bloodline has ended. Say what it is you want. Father, revoke Iroh's birthright. Because oh, Iroh's older. Use me. You dare suggest I betray Iroh? Iroh has suffered enough. Damn. But you, your punishment has scarcely begun. Please, Azulon's got some honor. Too bad I didn't rub off on Ozai. Grandfather said Dad's punishment should fit his crime. You must know the pain of losing a firstborn son. God. Maybe you could find a nice Earth Kingdom family to adopt you. Stop uh, it! You don't care your brother's dying? What is going on here? Ooh, she's gonna straighten this shit out. It's time for a talk. Dan, yeah, grab her ass. Hey, bitch, I'm gonna put your ass in check. Azula always lies. Azula always lies. Damn, these demons he had episodes episode fucking with crazy. Them. This reminds me of that one episode. When they ordered us to give them food, Lee pulled a knife on them. I don't even know where oh, he no. Oh no! And they took him away. Oh shit. I'll get your son back. Do it. It was a great ass episode. Fuck. Don't end right now. I'm saying this episode I want to be an hour long. Fuck. I know. That bird's even pissed off. Zuko's like, I'm gonna enjoy the fuck out of this. Why does the bird still look menacing? It's clean as kung fu cinematography. Whoa, bitch. He can do more and he just chooses not to. He's like, I'm going easy on you. It's like Goku. Like eh, eh, eh. Ooh, shit. Zuko doesn't quit. Yeah. When he gets hard, he fights harder. Is he earth or is he just... Damn, the swords are tough though, be cutting through rock. Damn. Shit. You got the Zuko. Just... Oh, I hit his head. Fuck. Here we go. Everything I've done, I've done to protect you. Oh, this is not, oh, no. this is not good. 
No matter how things may seem to change, never forget who you are. This seems like a good buy. It's not good. Oh. Does he have to kill his wife? Does she have to the exile her? We're not gonna get it? Come on. Fuck! Can't leave me that. Let's go. Ooh! Oh. Fuck it. Woo. Fuck it. Mass is off. Now I'm using the fire bending. Damn. But how are they gonna look at him? Uh. Fuck out of here. Now I level Shit. up. Shit. Well, fire doesn't have too much trouble with Earth. My name is Zuko. Son of Ursa and Fire Lord Ozai. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, no. His own father burned and disowned him! Then why are you talking shit? Uh give my shit back too. Step closer. He saved you. Come on. It's yours. Look at that. No, I hate you. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, you shouldn't have like bragged like that. Where's mom? No one knows. Oh, and last night. Grandpa passed away. Oh shit. And that's how Ozai rises to power. And I want my knife back. Now. Huh! Who's going to make me? Gosh. Mom? God, no remorse. She's a sociopath. Where is she? Yeah, what did you do with mom? We lay you to rest. As was your dying wish. Did she leave because Zulan died? Because he's the Fire Lord now? Hail, Fire Lord. Uh, David Sullivan got his face. Kind of like part of it. Maybe she knows how, like, sadistic her husband was. Like, I can't be around for this shit. I don't think she would run on her son, though. Like, not come back ever? Shit. Damn. I mean, I get where they're coming from, because, like, obviously how they feel about Fire Nation. He's, like, bragging about his, his loyalty and his name. Man. Shit. Still, like, proud. He's, like, I'm trying to be, like, what my mom said. Proud of where I can. Don't lose who I am. Shit. Zuko alone. Glacier, what you think? Uh, probably one of my favorite episodes. One of my favorite episodes, because Zuko's one of my favorite characters. Like, he's right up there. He might be, I want to... It's very hard. Like, it's like, there's so many people tied for first place as my favorite character, but he's, like, right up there. But this episode was really, like, powerful, emotional. Um, I like seeing Zuko, like... It sucks, because, like, he can build these bonds like he did with his song from other nations, and then he can't keep them. Because as soon as he reveals his identity, like, if he would have revealed his identity to his song, I probably would have gone the same way. But it's like, I don't know, it's weird because, I mean, one, I love this episode. I put this right up there, I think it was like episode five of book one when we yeah. got like the backstory of both Aang and Zuko in the yeah. same episode. But this one was just definitely, I love that I got my wish that the episode was all about Zuko and we got more backstory because it was parallel to that family he was staying with. Like, I'm sure he was like such a, he was really like good towards Lee and was kind of like helping Lee and almost being like a mentor him because Lee reminded him of himself. Yeah. The fact that he had a brother, that you know went to war and died in the war, or not died, but he got captured. Yep. Um, the fact that like you know they're kind of in this war torn area and they're getting bullied by you know these so called soldiers that are supposed to be there protecting, but they're just like thugs, like you know stealing money, pretty much like guys that steal your lunch money and stuff you in a locker. Oh, I got your Thor's hammer right here. Whatever. Like I mean, I guess that's the question though. Is like, was he an Earthbender and he was using the hammers to channel the Earthbending, or were those hammers just so like heavy and powerful? I feel like he was an Earthbender because like some of the shit he was doing to Zuko. And he's like, yeah, remember all that shit you were talking about? Earth can be fire? What now? Oh, whatever. Fire beat your ass, though, so I know that much, but... <laughs> yeah, you're got to be rolled up on Zuko. Someone doesn't quit. Well, when you pull up on someone with a different pedigree, I feel like all that rock, paper, rock beat scissors type shit just goes out the window. It's all about who's got heart. I yeah, think yeah, yeah, I was hoping that... That's what I'm wondering. Is Zuko, like, if he ever... If he fights a sister, I feel, I feel like a sister is petty enough where she would fight him to... The, like, she would kill him. And or play Zuko. dirty. She's like um, Admiral Zali. She'll play dirty if she has to. And I feel like Zuko would go out on a shield, like which sucks. And speaking of like playing dirty, if I had to theorize because of the way, I, f I feel like the reason the mom left was either that she witnessed the kill of Zulon. And if I had to predict, it was either Ozai or because Ozai sometimes a bitch and he gets other people to do his dirty work. Azul is the one that was the trigger man because um, Azulon, even though he was kind of a dick to Zuko, because obviously he, Zuko had to follow that craziest act that um, Azula put on with the fire bending. And he was just like, pretty much had that look like, why are you wasting my time with this shit? Yeah. But as soon as, as soon as Ozai pulled up and was trying to like talk him into revoking Iroh's birthright, Zulan went off and I'm like, no, he just lost his son. He's my son. You're gonna disrespect him like that? Fuck that yeah. shit. So I feel like Zulan did not die in no natural cause. Ozai wanted to regain power and rise up. So he ordered the hit and that's what happened. And that, either the mom knew what would happen if Ozai rose to power or he she witnessed the shit go down. And that's why she had to leave. Or maybe she witnessed it and then do yeah, she like said she had to leave, but maybe she also got killed and trying to leave. Yeah, we don't even know if she's even still alive. I mean, I would assume like if she's a witness to what happened, they're not, they're not gonna leave her alive. Yeah, I would, I would feel like we would have saw her or who knows, maybe we'll get more story on her. I like that we did get a story on the mom and then she was like the, I feel like she was the more that influence on Zuko, how the father was more influence on Azula. 
Yeah, because Zula, Zula's a sociopath, just like her father. I don't give a fuck how many car rolls she can do. <laughs> because obviously, and but I, I used to like, I tried to give her a little sack because she was trying to play matchmaker with May and Zuko, but that was like a little little pebble compared to the boulders of bullshit she's been doing. But I mean, it's she's crazy, evil, like, bro. She's fucking evil. She's evil. She don't get it. She's like, I, I, she I, I love her. I love her as a villain. Like she's one of my yeah, she's a favorite villain. villains. Like from there's some really good ones. She's right up there. She's like someone you love to hate. Yeah, she's insane. like, she's like, she's got that, she's got that personality where you, you want to watch. I also want to watch her lose at one point. I wanted to see some humble pie because I wonder how she will handle humble pie because I guarantee she's never tasted it. The way she's acted, she's like, I'm undefeated for life, baby. I feel like Zuko's gonna level up because he's going through harshly. That's the whole thing his mother's been trying to like grill into his head, like. You are stronger because you have heart and you fight through hardships. She's how come you don't like me? I'm tough, I don't quit. I won't be like a little crybaby like Iroh and I won't leave when I lose my son. I'll keep fighting. The fact that you're even saying that shit when you literally just lost a son, you don't know what it's like to lose anybody you love. So you're a little bitch. She no goes, offense. oh, I do. I fucking throw rocks at fucking ducks and I make sure they're dead. I'm like Zuko. Exactly, you abuse animals. I'm, that's another telltale sign that you're a sociopath, Zuko. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. If the shoe fits, wear it. But. I mean, I feel like with this, like if Zuko, if that is the truth, like they're all, they all strategize to kill Zulon and somehow they're responsible if the mom's dead and they're responsible for this shit and yeah. Zuko finds out, oh, he's in a full on level up. Yep. Admiral, I, that makes me hate Admiral Zhao too with the whole Iroh story because now it, it makes it more. Yeah, the way you watch talking shit like, like you're a failure, Bosnian. My Bosnian bitch, I lost my son. And it's crazy because I feel like we never got that confirmation. Oh, we yeah. know that. We know that Iroh lost that bossing save. We know the son died, but we didn't put two together that right. both happened. Like they were both one in, one in the same event. Hey, Iroh's not a quitter. Like, fuck you. It's crazy as and shit. He's got, and Iroh's just following his command of his father. So when Iroh, like, I feel like Iroh, like, would, like, yeah, he, if he, they would have left Iroh in charge, it would have been, it would have been, like, the Fire Nation probably would be maybe mellow out. There wouldn't be all this war. Yeah, they may, I mean, I don't know. I can't say, because, I mean, I feel like in Iroh, when he was reading that letter, he did kind of take pride in, in his conquest, like, at least at that point. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like he could have turned it around if he really wanted to and, like, put the Fire Nation in a good light instead of them being tyrants. Like, he would have, yeah, I feel like it was, like, some Game of Thrones shit. Like, remember the Definitely. first season when uh, the king. Was a Robert yeah, Robert 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 Robert. He died, and he was actually going to leave with a Ned Stark. And exactly, then, and then some shady shit happened. And got yeah, all that shady shit happened. The will got like, torn up. Yeah. Ozai now. Yeah. And Zula looks real happy with that shit. And the thing with Zuko is like, I feel like I get it. He's still like attached to his family honor, but I feel like he made a mistake by just like when he when he rolled up and he had to use his firebending to save Lee. I feel like he kind of made a mistake there when he was just kind of going off like, I am Zuko, son of Ozai, this, that, and the other. Because I feel like. Obviously, Ozai has no redeeming arc. They look at him as a tyrant because he is he's a fucking murderer. So yeah. you can't really claim him and then and expect Lee to like you. And it's kind of dark the way that Lee was like, I hate you. And the mom was like, like, don't ever come near us again. But it's like, I wonder, like, from my point of view, what I'm thinking, I, I don't know if he was bragging or, or more like, maybe he was saying it with intentions. Like, okay, I just saved his life. Maybe they'll, I can announce my name and I can try to make this line. I guess it- I feel like with him, it was, it was honor think, more than bragging, but to the outsiders, they seem yeah, like you're bragging, bragging like right. you're claiming and I, you're like, you know, standing up your co-signer. Like, I'm trying problem. to like get this name, like, cause it's also, you know, I'm trying to get this name where it doesn't have to be shit. But the only thing with that, the only problem with him trying to like change the arc of his heritage is that, that his motherfucking dad's still alive. It probably better chance that his dad was fucking dead than he's like he can probably turn he can the name the new path right exactly but his dad's like no your dad's still alive and oh yeah he's still burning our soldiers that's the thing about it it's like right now like lee's brother is being captured by the fire nation probably by the orders of ozai and for all i know ozai's gonna probably decide if he lives or dies he's probably not gonna live yep. so it's like i feel like at this point even though ozai's alive zuko's kind of pretty much have to like write his father off and pave his own path maybe him and iroh together but if nothing else he's got to pave his own path if he wants to make a difference and like claim honor to the Fire Nation. Because if he keeps like using his dad as a cosign, he's never gonna, they're always gonna yeah. hate him. Yeah. I love these flashbacks, man. It makes episodes, it makes other episodes, you appreciate things you've seen in book one. Exactly, and I love the way this, this episode was shot too. Because again, it gave me a lot of uh, throwbacks to the way that one um, 70s show, Kung Fu, was shot. The way like everything is like lit by the sun, like sunset, sunrise, like the orange lighting was great. Yeah. Because he was a loner in this episode, just like the main character of Kung Fu was a loner. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, great episode, probably, I don't know, I'll probably put that in like my top three or four episodes so far, but Final Thought Spacer. Yeah, definitely in my top three. One of my favorite, one of, definitely one of my favorite episodes. Loved it from start to finish. I mean, I love all the episodes of Avatar, but this was really powerful. It just gives you more depth about Zuko. So it's like, I mean, it's, even if he's a Fire Nation, whatever you, I don't see it as like the Earth Kingdom, but I get it. Like you have to put yourself in their shoes. If I'm Lee, I lost, I lost my brother and all that. So either way, compelling episode. Can't wait for the next one, Dragon Certified. Yeah, but now that I think about it, I think the only way that Zuko can earn like get back in that family's good graces if somehow he finds out where the brother's senses is being held and, and saves them and brings them back home. 
Yeah, he does that, and then also maybe just. I think maybe they'll bypass the whole fire nation, fire bending shit to like it'd be like brings his brother home. Level up, Zuko. Level up and get your boy Momo and take out Lord Ozai. If you do that too, and all the kingdoms see like, oh yeah, the own son took out the fucking general, we'll let you back. Cause fuck your dad. Your dad's a piece of shit. No offense. Yeah, sorry. You're gonna have to learn to realize that Iroh's already realized it. So it's time you gotta you know face the music like your dad sucks. But other than that, Dragon Slayer might fucking hit it. There you have it guys, another one in the books, real questions, what you guys think in their Jurassic World Land? I'm sure you guys love in this episode, is this up there as well, as far as like top two or three episodes in the entire series? Um, and then ultimately, do you guys kind of agree with us as far as like how the Earth, how the Earth Nation views Zuko because he keeps using his dad as a cosign? And it's for, once we get the reveal of what really happened to Lord Azulon and what happened to Zuko's mom, is it gonna blow our skull? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier, the Iceborne. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.